Example 3 for the limit of a function, we need to find the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x when f of x is a piecewise function, so when x is less than 2, the y value is x squared. When x is equal to 2, the y value is 1. And when x is greater than 2, uh, y is equal to 2x plus 5. So uh, you may want to review piecewise functions from advanced functions uh, in this chapter and in, uh, in future chapters you'll be running into a lot of them, especially with limits. So make sure that you know how they work, how to graph them. I'm not going to go into too much detail on them, but I will show you how I, uh, how I graph piecewise functions. So. So to solve this limit, uh, if you recall, we could either use a table of values or graphing. I'm going to use both actually in this case. So let's, uh, let's make a table of values for the x is less than 2 part. And when x is less than 2, then the y value is equal to x squared. So let's... Uh, Let's try 2. X has to be less than 2, so any number is less than 2. Let's put 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So plugging these <clears throat> values into x squared, we'll get 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. Now when x is equal to 2, uh, then the y value is just equal to 1. So that's pretty easy. And when x is greater than 2, then let's make a table of values here. The y value will be 2x plus 5. So let's start with 2 and then pick numbers that are greater than 2. So let's try 3, 4, 5, 6. So plugging 2 into this equation, into this 2x plus 5, <coughs> we'll get uh, 9. Uh, then we'll get 11, plugging in 4, we'll get 13, uh, 15, and then 17 here. Okay, so we have a, uh, we have a ta we have three tables, uh, to work with for these three pieces of this function. So let's go ahead and graph these. So let's start off with, uh, with the most left part of our table. So we'll have negative 2, negative 1. So at negative 2, we got a y value of 4. Uh, at a x value of negative 1, we have a y value of 1. Then at an x value of 0, we got a y value of 0. Then at 1, we have an x value, uh, y value of 1. By the way, my graphs aren't like necessarily to scale. Um, just more so the shape is what matters and seeing where the continuation lies. So 1 and then for 2, we have a y value of 4. But notice that it's not defined at 2, so it's a hole here. So this is just a parabola that just keeps going like that. And then for an x value of 2, y is defined as 1. So at 2, we'll just have a dot at 1. And then let's continue with this table. So we'll have 3, 4, 5, and 6. So at a x value of 2, we got a y value of 9. Notice how it's not defined for 2, though. So right here, this 9, it will be a hole as well. And then for an x value of 3, we got a y value of 11. For an x value of 4, we got a y value of 13. And it's just a line, 2x plus 5. So it'll just go, keep going like that. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's review this graph in terms of the piecewise function we were given. So for x values uh, less than 2, uh, the y values are defined by x squared. Add an x value of 2, the y value uh, is 1. 
<clears throat> which is just a dot there. And then at n, at x values that are greater than two, the y value is defined by two x plus five, which is just a line. So looking at this graph, we can find the, uh, the one-sided limits. So let's, um, where can we do this? Let's do these here actually. So the limit as x, we're finding it for as x approaches two. Okay, so we gotta find the one-sided limits first. So as x approaches two from the left side of f of x, that's going to be equal to, well, if we look at the graph, as x is approaching two from the left side, okay, the y value is approaching four. It's not defined at four, but it's approaching four. So we would write four here. And then the limit, as x approaches two from the positive side, from the positive side is approaching two, the y value is approaching, of this function f of x, it's approaching nine, if you can see it on the graph here. As we're approaching the x value of two from the right side, the y value is approaching nine. Again, it's not defined at nine, but it's approaching it. And that's all that matters when we're dealing with limits. So if we, uh, if we think of back to what the definition of a limit is or when it exists, it exists uh, when it approaches the same value from both sides. But if you notice here, when it's approaching two from the left side, it's approaching four. And when it's approaching two from the right side, it's approaching nine. So it's approaching different values. So our conclusion is the limit as x approaches two of this function f of x does not exist. And that's our final answer. So notice how, how in, uh, in solving this limit, we use both tables and then we graphed it. I highly suggest you do the same whenever you run into piecewise functions like this.